guys good morning today we're gonna do another journal with me impromptu session and when I say impromptu that means I really have no idea what I'm doing again I'm going unscripted I just have some essentials around me within reach so I'm gonna to try to use everything that you are able to see on the table there are certain things that are not quite visible which is some washi tapes I have on the side here what do you call this? yeah, blocks and then here we have some gold foil washi tapes so we're just gonna see where this takes us let's just start by looking at the page so generally what I do is you know I I have to look at the page first to see if there's anything at the back that kind of leaked through. So it could be like ink pads, fountain pen blotches, and, and what I would do is plan around it. So I'll just like layer it over, you know, the stains or, or, or the leak through so that it doesn't look awkward. So here we can see that it's okay, there's nothing much from the previous page to kind of influence this current spread but I love my leather cover but I need to take it out when I journal because there's things like this obst obtrusions that kind of make it difficult to stamp or write sometimes I'm gonna have to take the tag out because I can really tell that it'd be difficult to with this tag here. so I'm just going to take it out to make sure that it's as flat as possible okay and I'm going to take out some pens to put here in case we want to use them different I usually have like different bits around so that I can journal better I usually keep a few different types of pens at hand so I'll have like a flex in it, or like a ballpoint, a really fine fountain pen, or thinner lines. You always make sure that you have enough ink, because it can be a little bit annoying when you're journaling and you have your flow going and then you stop abruptly because it ran out of ink. And then even the ink, the writing on your, your paper might not be consistent because of the ink flow. So what we're going to do now is look for some pieces. I have on standby some of the, what do you call this, clear wax seals with my glue gun. I, I used it the other day and I made this. So I'm planning to somehow attach it to my journal. I think it will look really pretty. This is also another one that I used for my wax seal, transparent wax seal, and I love the layering of how you can put the wax seal over a stamp or a piece of flower, in this case it's a piece of paper that has a flower on it, but I really do want to get those dried flowers and kind of experiment with it. So, first we look for the big pieces, so I'm just gonna find something that I can use in these pages. Okay, I think this is really pretty. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use something like this. There's um, a divider here. Or you can also set it to be the middle of the page. This was something a little different. Let's try that today. Use this glue tape and just put it like here on the side. And I love this glue tape. I mentioned mentioned this before because it doesn't crinkle the pages. You know, like a wet glue stick like this wouldn't only 
crinkle the paper but when you write on it because of the residue in the page it will kind of affect the, how the ink behaves when it touches the surface so not sure if that I made that clear but basically this dry glue tape is so much better okay so we, now we have it pretty much in the middle here and what I'm gonna do is plan around it so I think this probably goes better than this yeah this is this is a bit too big this is just nice and I like the transparency of seeing being able to see past the vellum and the postcard is in the background okay so I'm gonna use the glue tape again uh, before I do that I want to make a area here a little bit more three-dimensional so what I'm gonna do here is use this but I'm gonna mark it so that I know how much ink pad I need to use and if you want to be extra careful what you can do is place a piece of paper underneath it here underneath your page so it doesn't stain the surface okay and then here we go so with the excess you just like stamp it onto the scrap paper like this put it here and then wait for the ink pad to dry of course and then use this amazing glue tape put it maybe around here there we go so pretty much done with one corner then now, because this is a fairly big piece, I don't want to overpower this. I'll get something smaller to complement it. Ooh, this is really nice. This is like a vintage player cigarettes card from London. And I'm going to kind of try build on that theme of the botanical elements. Kind of make this a, like a flip so you can still write around it. Always cut the edge of the washi off, otherwise, it won't flip open entirely. Okay, so like just this. Make sure you have a supporting washi tape at the back. Voila! So that's done. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to use a rub-on sticker transfer, a rub-on transfer sticker. Okay, I'm going to choose something that can kind of it over so like I said I, I didn't really plan this I'm not really sure what I'm doing I'm just winging it so this is a very accurate process of how I journal you know it doesn't happen miraculously make mistakes along the way it's like it's a normal part of it we had to do it had to do it you just take a sharp not a sharp but a blunt and flat object like this and you kind of just rub it in so press it in 
rub it but don't rub it too hard <laughs> that sounds wrong don't uh, put too much effort in rubbing it <laughs> okay just rub it and peel off the plastic like this so that's done Ooh, that was a close one dodge the bullet <laughs> So I've been using my logo stamp in a lot of my journaling because at one point my images were being used without my consent and without proper accreditation. I really didn't like that. So I've started to kind of like trademark my pages. So I think we have enough decorative elements. Maybe a little bit more here, it feels a little bit bad. Washi here, create a little bit more decorative element. This is the flip over. Oops. And then this is the layer again. And it's completely okay when you smudge, okay? Like, don't get too anal about that. But of course, as a perfectionist, it might make you cringe. So what you can do here is maybe add a little sticker to cover it if you want to. And for the sake of today's YouTube video, I'm going to try to find something like small enough to cover it, but not, not too much so that it looks too decorative. Yeah, these are the little things you can do to hide some mistakes or some blotches. Okay, so what I'm going to do is find a quote for this corner and then plan for maybe another long form quote here and then end it with a fourth quote. Now, it doesn't have to be a quote, of course, it can be whatever you feel like writing today. For me, I'm just gonna have a mishmash of positive quotes. Space here that I think needs some embellishment. Maybe a gold foil washi that might work. Ah, much better. Can you see it? I'll just lift it up here. So that's the gold foil. And it's filled but it's not too too busy. Of course you can put a little bit more. Maybe I'll put a little bit more here. Let's have a look what else I can do. Maybe have the stamp and a 
come out a little bit from the page here that might be nice and I like that the colour is quite similar there we go so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna put it a little bit I'm gonna tear a bit out So voila! I think that's it. That's done. Thank you so much for joining me today and watching another episode of Journal with me. I hope you found this useful and we spend this weekend doing things that spark joy and bring you happiness. Have a great weekend guys! <laughs>